Dusk by F. S. Flint. Read for LibriVox.org by Nemo and Eva Davis. Here where the brown leaves fall from elm and chestnut and plane tree. Here where the brown leaves drift along the paths to the lake, where the waterfall breasts the waves that are ridged by the wind. You spoke of your art and life of men you had known who betrayed you men who fell short of friendship and women who fell short of love but abiding beyond them your art held you to life transformed it became it and so you were free and i told you of all my weakness my growing strength to resist the appeal to my heart and eyes of sorrowful beautiful things in the strength of this outer husk i had permitted to grow and protect me was its pitiful measure you said there are cracks in the husk it grew to your measure perhaps once but your heart breaks through it and soon it will fall away from you like a tree content with its fate you would not have known it was there if it had grown to remain the cold wind blew the brown leaves on to the lovers beneath who crept close together for warmth and closer still for love the peacocks perched in the branches hawked their harsh cry at the golden round moon that loomed over the treetops and the sound of our feet on the gravel for a time was answer enough to the broken mesh of our thoughts i said i have wife and children a girl and a boy i love them the gold of their hair is all the gold of my thoughts the blue of their eyes is all the purity of my vision the rhythm of their life is more to be watched than the cadences of my poems and you asked me have you taken refuge behind them do you not fear to lose your life in saving it for them? Be brave. The water is deep. The waves run high, but you are a swimmer. Strike out. The cold wind blew the brown leaves deeper and deeper into the dusk. The peacocks had hushed their cries. The moon had turned her gold into silver, and between the black lace of two trees, one star shone clearly o oh, night have i deserved your beauty end a poem this recording is in the public domain